chapter two. Polly, mom calls from upstairs. Could you come and help Anna? I hear Anna yell, no, 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 no. She's three and a half. In one teeny minute, I yell back. I run my finger over the words. Hello, Polly Diamond, the book writes. Stop, that tickles. I am woozy. Woozy is one of my favorite words. I love words with double letters in them. I'm dizzy, double sense. I wonder if I might faint. I've always wondered what fainting would feel like. Maybe 
he'll be an acrobat. I imagine our family circus. Dad, Mom, ringmaster. Anna, dancer. Me, lion tamer. Names for our family circus. The dazzling diamonds, the gem stars, the jumping jewels. Dad wiggles his huge gorilla feet. Take Anna downstairs, Polly Poppet. But I want to show you my new book. It writes back to me. Anna jumps over. Can I see? No, do not touch it. Why don't you go and start making chocolate chip pancake batter? Dad gently turns me toward the bedroom door. I'll be down in a, to help in a minute. We can look at your book then, okay? Mmm, yum. Okay, that's a deal. Downstairs, I pull out Granny's recipe book. I love the smell of old yellow pages. I love her scribbled notes. I find her pancake recipe. I open our cupboard. Hmm, we have no flour, but there is a can of baking powder. It looks exactly like flour. I dump the baking powder into a bowl. I crack one egg on top. I pick out the pieces of shell. I tip a cup of milk and I stir the mix. Stir the mix, everybody. Stir, 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 which fizzles a little bit. And then the very best part, okay, everybody, pour in the chocolate chips. Yay, ta-da! I love words that all begin with the same letter. Amazing alliterations. I whip open my new book and I write Polly Diamond's new and improved chocolate chip pancakes. One cup of baking powder, one egg, one cup of milk, lots of chocolate chips, rainbow sprinkles to decorate, a dollop of whipped cream. Dad comes into the kitchen. There is milk all over the counter, egg gunk on the floor. Somehow Anna, get out your syrup bottles, has gotten hold of the syrup bottle. Dad's eyebrows shoot up. Wow, Polly, you sure went to town in here. It could be worse, I say. I didn't spill any sprinkles. You clean up, I'll cook, he inspects the pancake. Polly, did you follow the recipe? We have no flour, I say. I use baking powder instead. <coughs> baking powder-tastic! Polly Parrot, he scoops my mix into the garbage. I'll make it again. He turns to the cupboard. Uh, Polly, what's this? I frown, because on the shelf there is a full cup of what looks like baking powder. But the can of baking powder I used is already out on the counter. Next to the baking powder on the shelf is a cup of milk and a dollop of whipping cream. And an egg rolls out and smashes on the floor. Chocolate chips and rainbow sprinkles are everywhere. Dad rubs his forehead as Mum waddles in like a penguin. Miss made a mess, Dad says to her. Don't worry, love, we're just about to clean up. Refusing to worry, refusing to look, Mum says. She keeps her gaze on the ceiling. <coughs> oh no, I looked, I'm leaving right now. Sorry, Mum, I say. Sorry is always a useful word when Mum is frowning. I kiss Mum goodbye. I kiss Mum's huge tummy too. Bye, baby. I definitely think we should call you Gil or Basil. Basil is the top name on my list. It means a herb and a person's name. I know, Mum finishes. She kisses the top of my head, then she kisses the tip of my nose, and she heads out the door. I turn to Dad. Can we do my bedroom today? My bedroom, Anna yells. 
If you clean up some of your stuff so I can reach the walls, Dad suggests, then we can paint. But first, let's start in here. I give him a huge hug. Then I begin to wipe the mysterious, messy mess 